Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on the Shark Navigator Lift Away Vacuum Cleaner. This is model number CU530. This retails for $101 at Walmart right now. It's a really nice vacuum cleaner. It's very easy to put together. I'll show you how to put it together in, towards the end of the video, but right now it's together. To release the dust chamber, just pull this little lever up. This whole thing comes over. Take it to your trash can. Once in a while you do have to clean these filters right here. When you want to put this back together, put it right there. We do have a HEPA filter, self-cleaning bristle brush. We got onboard tool storage. It does come with two tools. They call this the wide tool for upholstery and there's your crevice tool. Okay, so this is a powered lift away. Down here, there's a gray button. Press this. This whole unit will lift away. Now we can take this, turn it on. And now I can suck up some stuff, put a crevice tool on and turn it off. When I want to put it back on, simply just lift it over there. Now make sure you push this on until that clicks. So when you lift up, it doesn't come off. We can also take this wand off. There's a wand release right here. And you can take the wand and get to a really far reach. Putting the wand back on, putting the wand back on is very simple right there. We also have a suction uh, minimum and maximum right here. If your vacuum cleaner is not moving really well on carpet, let a little air in and that'll help out. Okay, so here's how we control the vacuum cleaner. We've got a three position switch here off. Middle is hardwood floor. All the way over here is, is carpet. Now the bristle brush is gonna turn on hardwood floor and carpet, but it does turn at a lower speed on hardwood floor. And it's not gonna start turning until you kick it over center. So even though I turn it to carpet, not turning, kick it over, go to hardwood, there's that indicator light. So the indicator light's gonna tell us if it's green, that means it's turning at the proper speed, your, your roller. If it's red, it means it's, it's stopped and it's clogged. If it's flashing red, that means it's overheated and you gotta let it sit for an hour. Okay, so I've got a bunch of cereal, dog hair, and a bunch of coffee grounds and fine dirt in the carpet. Let's see how it does. It's doing a really good job. It glides really easy on the carpet. It's easy to turn. It's very powerful. Okay, so I got a bunch of coffee, some big cereal chunks, small dirt, and some dog hair. Let's put it on hardwood floor. So it's doing a really good job. It's easy to maneuver, gets under cabinets. Very powerful, very lightweight. That was super impressive how it did. Okay, so I thought it did a really good job on hardwood floor and carpet. Let's see how easy it is to clean. Just lift this up. This is very lightweight. Take it over to your trash can, press the button. Everything's gonna come out. So it looks like it did a good job. Put that back and snap that on. Okay, so I got everything out of the box. I'm gonna show you how to put it together. So you got this powered unit, you're gonna snap it on here. Now push it on. You wanna hear that click so that when you lift up, it doesn't lift up. We got this attachment tool here that goes right there. And when you wanna take the power lift away, you just press that button. And again, put it on till it clicks. Here we've got the hose. So you gotta find, there's a, a V. So you want the V to go in that bottom spot there. Push this on till you hear it click. Now this goes right here, it snaps on. I would put your hose on first, then snap that on. Okay, so you're gonna put your, your storage tool on. Make sure you push that on till it snaps, uh, or till it, you hear a click. Now, I think you only have room for one core, or one um, tool storage. 
It does come with two different tools. I tried to put one on the bottom, but you can't put one on the bottom. Okay, so up here, there is this piece of tape. Make sure you remove this. Now this is let's air in the vacuum. So if your vacuum's having a hard time moving on carpet, you wanna let more air in. It's a little noisier, but you let more air in, it'll move easier. If you want more suction, close it off. This rotates up, and then you're gonna wrap your cord around. So it looks like it's 120 volts, 60 hertz, 6.7 amps. Okay, so to release the, the dirt chamber, you're simply gonna press this button up, this whole chamber comes off, take it over to the trash can, press one button, everything comes out. Sometimes you need to do a little more cleaning, you can get up here and kind of clean that. We do have two filters. Once in a while, you are going to have to rinse these and let them air dry overnight. Put the smaller one in first, then this one. Now we do have a HEPA filter down here, very easy to change out, lift that off. I like the little handle here. Pull it off, there's the HEPA filter. Very easy to change. Put this on. You just gotta kind of line it up and then snap it on like that. So here's what the bottom of the vacuum cleaner looks like. It's called a self-cleaning brush. Now I like that you can open up this little area here and you can clean out if you've got some, something gets stuck in there, you can turn these little screws right here, open that hole up and get it cleaned out. Okay, so we do have a brush roll indicator. So if your brush is turning at normal speed, it's gonna be green. If it turns red, that means there's a jam. If it's flashing red, that means it's overheated and you gotta let it cool for about 60 minutes. So I'm very happy with this vacuum cleaner. Again, retails for $101 from uh, Walmart. I'll put a link to it in the show description notes. I am a Walmart affiliate. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I do get a percentage of the sale. It's a way of supporting my channel. I do notice this thing, I wish that stayed in just a little bit better. It comes off real easy, but if it comes off, it's not that big a deal. But this, this one is lightweight. The dust, ch the chamber is not super big. Um, I thought it did a really good job on hardwood floors. The carpet, I thought it did an okay job. But if you want lightweight, easy, maneuverable, this is the vacuum. Thanks everybody for watching.